Welcome to Halo Halo. I'm Kat Aniba and it's Cyber Monday. If you weren't one of the shoppers who woke up early on Black Friday to get all your holiday shopping done, then today is your day. Just don't let your boss catch you saving $300 on that customized laptop or stylish pair of mid-calf boots. Let's kick things off with a look at the latest showbiz buzz, which includes the passing of a favorite comedic actor and a new fashion trend on the red carpet. Stop me. You need to find me first, Metro Man. We're at the abandoned observatory. Aha! No, we're not! Don't listen to her! She's crazy! At the box office, the family-friendly film Megamind landed in third place this holiday weekend. The animated picture, which features the vocal talents of Will Ferrell, Brad Pitt, and Tina Fey, took in $12.9 million. No, that's a lot of hair. The fairy tale princess story Tangled exceeded everyone's expectations by debuting in second place this weekend, making just over $49 million. You may be the chosen one, mate. This is a whole lot bigger than that. Moviegoers just can't get away from the spell of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. The magical movie stayed in the top spot this weekend, making over $50 million. The film has taken in over $220 million in the U.S. after just 10 days in theaters. The star of the motion picture comedies Airplane and Naked Gun series, Leslie Nielsen, passed away Sunday. His family said, We are saddened by the passing of the beloved actor, who enjoyed a more than 60-year career in motion pictures and television. He died of complications of pneumonia in a hospital near his home in Florida. Mr. Nielsen was 84. In today's Star Flash, wearing white is no longer banned after Labor Day. In November, Natalie Portman wore a Christian Dior white dress at a 25th anniversary gala in New York. Beyonce wore white at the launch of her new jewelry collection, To Be Happy. And style maker Jennifer Lopez wore a simple white outfit at the launch of her lifestyle brands with Kohl's department stores earlier this month. From the red carpet to the garage, let's welcome Michelle Martinez with her cover of Boy Without a Heart. for sending us that video. Send me your videos, holo holo at la18.tv or myspace.com slash holo holo TV show. Well, this time of year, it's an annual right and sometimes controversial list. I'm talking, of course, about Barbara Walters' annual list of the 10 most fascinating people of the year. This year, the mix is puzzling and it includes Justin Bieber. Okay, he's had several number one hits and recently took home a few American Music Awards, but some people think that at the age of 16, he may be too young to make this list. Of course, this YouTube sensation has millions of fans who believe he's fascinating. Sandra Bullock is on the list. I agree, 2010 was an incredible year for the actress, both professionally and personally. Everyone loved her in the movie The Blind Side, for which she took home the Oscar. Unfortunately, she was also blindsided by her ex-hubby, Jesse James, when she discovered he'd been cheating on her. Jennifer Lopez is on the list. Not sure why, she was dumped by her record company in 2010, and she starred in one of the biggest cinematic flops of the year. You remember the backup plan, don't you? It'll be interesting to see what Barbara chats with her about. Here's a quick look at a few other names on the list. Future British princess Kate Middleton, Miami Heat star LeBron James. What's his ESPN special fascinating to you? 
Betty White, does she get the Comeback of the Year Award for hosting Saturday Night Live this year and appearing practically everywhere? Sarah Palin and the cast of Jersey Shore. To find out who tops Barbara's list this year, you'll have to tune in to ABC on December 9th. We'll be right back with more. Don't go away. Ang halo-halo ay atid sa inyo ng McDonald's at ng bagong McCafe Espresso Drinks. McDonald's na bangin yung bagong coffee house? Ang mga bagong McCafe Espresso Drinks ay mabilis, masarap at mas mura pa. Kahit saan, kahit kailan. <laughs> 